I'm here with Travis Nielsen, and Red Hat recently is involved in something called Rook. Version 1.0 just came out, I, I understand. That's right, it was last and, week. And how does that fit into the uh, overall picture of storage at Red Hat? All applications essentially need storage. Um, so Rook is something that brings storage to Kubernetes and OpenShift in a way that will make it more automated, easier to manage, uh, something that is just more natural to work with as part of your OpenShift cluster. So why wouldn't you just use Ceph? Right, so great question. So Ceph has been around for a long time. It's, it's been deployed in the enterprise production environments, um, but it was really designed before there was even thought of containers or, or Kubernetes. Um, so there are containerized versions of Ceph as well, but they, they really require deployment tools that aren't that don't work well with Kubernetes. Like Ansible, it's a great deployment tool, but it's really for pre-Kubernetes pre world. Uh, so Rook was designed from the ground up to bring Ceph to Kubernetes in a way that uses Kubernetes resources, it starts pods, uh, deployments, creates services, other things that are native to Kubernetes for managing and automating Ceph. And, and so what kind of storage types do you get out of this? Well, really, Rook only exposes whatever storage is provided by the, the data layer, which is Ceph. So Ceph provides object, block, and uh, shared file systems. So all three of those those flavors give you the standard storage that you'd need. So the block in Kubernetes would be like a read-write read -write once um, for block storage. And you've got a shared file system where you've got read-write many pods, RWX, um, and then object storage for an S3 endpoint. Mm -hmm. And is this something that, that scales across multiple clouds if you've, if you've configured yourself that way? Or is, or is this uh, need to be localized to, like, say, AWS only or Azure only or, or in-house only? Ceph itself is capable of, of spanning you know, some geography. It's, it's really designed for low latency environments, so you probably wouldn't spread it across the world. Um, but for a single Kubernetes cluster, Rook will you know, will do its best to run all the set components in, in that Kubernetes cluster, which is typically in a single data center or maybe you've got it spread across a couple of AWS regions. And Rook will work with that as long as the latency is, is pretty small, which it generally is in cloud deployments. What else, what else would you want people to know about Rook? Besides Ceph, it does bring other storage providers to Kubernetes as well. There's you know, EdgeFS, which did a lot of work in the Rook 1.0 release. Uh, there's others, Minio, Cassandra, CockroachDB, and I'm forgetting one other, there's six of them. Um, but really, Ceph was the first one, it's the only one that we've declared as stable, but, and the other ones will get there eventually, but you know, Rook is designed storage for Kubernetes, and, and that's what it's all about. Sounds good. Thanks, Travis. All right. Thanks.